so let's do this in English. Uh, I am, um, as you know, uh, the Mitten Bonanza is back for the weekend, and um, I thought I'd just give you, you know, a quick walkthrough on the mittens for the Bonanza. Let you see all the different models because it's, it does make a difference to see them alive as compared to on photos, doesn't it? So let's get started with the January one. The January one is knitted in off the not off the in a rather th uh, thin yarn. Uh, so it's not you know one of the uh, heaviest one that you use when you shuffle your snow, but it's an everyday mitten that is nice when it's you know just. A little cold, right? Uh, is easily uh, adapted in the width and in the length, uh, and um, also on the uh, on the uh, shaft here on the uh, cuff. You can easily do do it longer if you want to, and it has this Latvian. It's double here on the cuff, and it's got this Latv Latvian braid as an extra detail on it. Okay, so that's January. Uh, let's do February. February is quite fun. It used, it was really really fun to make. Um, February is comes with two different cuffs. Uh, they are you know to be uh, buttoned on, <laughs> and as you see here, they are you know just you just knit it, but you find buttons that are small enough to make them go through the stitches. And you can decide if you want to do knit cabled cuffs or if you want to do recycle an old fur lying around. This one is a fur from the 1950s, possibly 60s, but still awfully old uh, from my grandma that I have actually, you know, decided to repurpose. So this one in and this one are the same, but the cuff is different. So that's entirely up to you how you want to do that. And just to let you know, uh, I have said it before, and I just want to be clear about that. If you want to use fur, use old fur that you repurpose. I am totally against, um, you know, breeding animals to get new fur like that today. Just as, you know, I just have to say it. Um, this model also has a um, male version, and that is... Uh, slightly longer, slightly wider, slightly bigger on the thumb, but it's got a you know a traditional rib on the cuff. So that's February, March. Let me see where is March. Here's March. Uh, same model, uh, actually, and form as Mar uh, as February this one, but different pattern. And this one also comes with male and female sizes on this one okay and these last two are um knitted in a yarn from around my yarn and it's uh, what they call a three ply knitting yarn this one okay so then we are into april and april is a short one <laughs> it's got a short uh, the whole thing is quite short and it's um all the flowers are, you know, knitted, but the stems, stems and the flat, you know, the inside of the flower here in the center, uh, are done and the pearls are done after knitting. So this one is without the pearls. This one is with pearls and it's short in the shaft, but easily, you know, easily adaptable uh, to, you know, make it longer if you have to, if you want to. Um, it was meant to be a spring mitten, April is spring in Norway, and you need something light on your hands without closing it all in, and that's why they are made like this. Okay. Uh, April also brought around a bonus. <laughs> For those of you who want to try out glows, these glows are the same, but they are differently. This one is in a one base color, uh, and this one has gradients. Um, you get tutorials to how to do this in the Bonanza. Uh, that goes for everything, obviously. Every single little technique you need for doing all these mittens are covered in tutorials in the Bonanza. And also to the mittens. So if this frightens you, don't. Because this is such an easy thing to do when you get the right guidance. 
and someone you know that shows you you can even watch you can even sit down and do knit your thumb um from the beginning to the end together with me i have filmed it so you can decide if you want to speed it up or if you want to watch it all <laughs> anyway long shafted thins um thin yarn because these are you know they're not posh, but they're on, you know, on the more posh side compared to the the more thicker mittens. Okay. So this one is is it like a fingering yarn. This one, these ones. In May, I made this one, and this one is too small, so I can't try it on because it's too small for my hand. Uh, it got cables in the cuff and a ruffle at the end um this is what it looks at like at the back going from may into june we have this one and this one is inspired by the selby mittens we have a lot of selby mittens in my family you know from way back from the 50s and 60s 1950s and 60s obviously uh, and i was inspired by those to create this one so um this is my um selbu inspired mitten it's not a selbu uh, mitten and i'm not messing up with the selbu mittens because there are so many different versions of those mittens and i'm just being inspired i just want to say that for those of you who might think that i'm messing up the mitten the selbu mittens i'm not uh july showed this one uh, where is the other one? There. This one isn't quite ready yet. <laughs> um, this is a worsted yarn, I think. Uh, it's double. It's a fingering yarn, and I doubled it. Um, and you also got a hat matching it. If you haven't got it, it's on your on on its way. For those of you who already are in on the bonanza. And August was this one all diagonals this one is actually there are a few lines you know with a third color so this is the only mitten where i do three colors in one row but you don't have to and you can't see it because i haven't been really clever with picking my colors on this one the grays are okay but the <laughs> the light light pink you probably can't see it here and here and here are it doesn't show so it's not really worth it you know the struggle of doing three colors which isn't a struggle if you do it the right way but still uh, and then at the back you have it centered in the middle and in front it's up front up there the this one is actually knitted from uh from here and up and it's got this really pointed um really pointed uh, po <laughs> top and then the cuff is done that way from the mitten and out uh and here you can see the the uh, the pink this is the same pink as here um this one you can obviously knit as long as you want um and that's really why i did it like this because this also as the april mitten was intended to be a lighter mitten and by doing that this is a short cuff uh, but if you want a longer one, you can you know, decide that after you actually done the mitten. If you want to keep it like an early autumn mitten or a proper winter mitten. So that was August. September is this one. Uh, this one is um, garter stitch in the beginning with a cable. That cable runs all the way to the top on that one side. You put on... All the embroideries and pearls uh, later and I have a non decorated one which uh, will be I will be doing some extra decoration on it and show you how to do it uh, that's coming up in the Bonanza actually as an extra tutorial so that is August and that nice September and then we have the last one that is released the last two are you know out there being knitted by someone helping me out i have knitted everything myself until now but i realize i need some help so i found this lady that is helping me these ones are plain 
coloured knitted, apart from that part here at you know at the wrist, uh, the the dark brown is knitted. Everything else, even here, is you know done by afterwards. It's covering stitches, it's contour stitches, and there's mille fleur. And all these techniques are shown in tutorials in Portugal. And there's a lot of bling on this. I quite like this. It's not, they're not the same. They are the symmetrical, as they say. So, um, if you want them to be symmetrical, you have to do, you know, just you pick one and then mirror it when you knit it. But still, I quite like it like this. Um, so, there we go. Anyway, uh, these are my favorites actually right now. I think that's because my favorite tends to be the one that I did the last. <laughs> and these are the last ones I did. Yeah. I think that was it for today. Um, the Bonanza is available this weekend and it's not, it's going away at midnight Pacific time, US time on Sunday. And uh, it's going away and it's not coming back until 2022. I can't say when, but probably in the autumn. Um, so in a new format and in at a new price. So if you are interested, you know, jump on the chance now and uh, join the Bonanza and our uh, Facebook group if you want to. That goes for you Norwegian ones that are listening this far as well. We have an English Facebook group for the Bonanza and if you want to join, feel free to do that. Ask in the comment field if you want to and I'll, I'll post the link. I think that was it. That was actually quite some time. Um, so I'm rounding it off now and wishing you all a brilliant weekend. And I already done that to you Norwegians a few minutes ago. So uh, I'll leave it in English. <laughs> and you can re watch the replay, the Norwegian ones. And uh, see um, the first half is Norwegian and then the second half is English. I really don't know how to sort this out. We'll find a solution eventually. Have a brilliant, brilliant, brilliant weekend. See you soon.